ground, you can take a picture of it. <laughs> Didn't need a runner. Well, I reckon she might have a bit of a buddy talk there because they just got counter rotated. No, no, they're, they're both the same. I reckon we'd have a bit of a take off talk. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Too much lead up the nose. Yeah. So I'll put another battery up there because that's the way. Yeah. Yep. So what's it called? Um, Whistle Andy Fluid. Whistling Death. <laughs> <laughs> It did whistle, didn't it? Yeah, that's kind of a whistle. Valium required. That's what yeah. the Japanese used to call them, so. It's a credit to you, Shane. It certainly is. I don't know how no, you... credit to Tim being able to fly it, I reckon. Oh, you just don't sleep at night, mate. You just... <laughs> There's no bloody advertising sign in town that's safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't see a house for sale one day, you don't see the sign on the next day. Next one, it's flying with two motors, <laughs> yeah. Even those wingtips work, they have that. And then, but if you go above half throttle, there's really nothing there. So you just pull the throttle back to about halfway, and there's not, it doesn't sort of go any fast, or you can't really hear the motors revving much more. Like, That's why it whistles, parasitic drag, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just got X amount of drag, and it gets to that, and it stays there. Hits the wall. Yeah, but it's got plenty of power. Bloody awesome. It's got 3.6 3 kilos of thrust. Yeah. And the plane, before we put that bit of weight on it, was 3.6 kilos. You have to be, you want to be very careful.